A post-mortem examination of the body of men at work musician Greg Hamm has found his death was not suspicious. The 58-year-old's body was found at his Carlton home yesterday morning. Friends say the plagiarism case involving the band's hit song Down Under had devastated him and he was struggling to come to terms with it in the months before his death. It's a tune that's etched in the Australian psyche. The hit Down Under catapulted men at work to international fame and it showcased Greg Ham's instrumental talent. We all remember him as a, a great musician. I mean, he was multi-talented. He was really integral to the sound of Men at Work. 30 years after Down Under made the charts, it returned to the spotlight. Oh, Kookaburra really? sitting in the old gum tree. That's exactly oh. right. The Spicks and Specks episode caught the attention of the company that owned the rights to the 1930s children's rhyme. Larrikin Music successfully sued the Down Under songwriters for breaching copyright. Men at Work frontman Colin Hay says Ham was angry and embarrassed by the case and struggled to deal with it. The way that litigation took place was, was appalling. It was appalling in its opportunism, it was appalling in its greed, and, and, uh, and uh, I think that that will become clear as time goes on. I suppose that there were personal demons he had, he had to overcome. I, I suppose that's, that's not uncommon with people who've known huge, huge success and then have to come out the other side of it. The body of the father of two was discovered by friends at his home. Police do not suspect foul play. There is nothing to suggest to us that it's a suspicious investigation. The ABC understands Larrikin Music has been receiving angry calls from the public since the news of Ham's death. Management has declined to comment. Lisa Maximovic, ABC News, Melbourne.